Alright, today we're going to be building the Simon PTH kit. You can get it from the website at sparkfun.com. Let's see what's inside. This kit includes a button pad, a bezel, two batteries, an Mango 168, a Simon PCB, four plastic standoffs, four battery clips, a buzzer, four LEDs, some screws, 10K resistor, two caps, and two switches. You'll need a soldering iron, some solder, and some wire clippers. First thing we need to do is put the Atmega 168 into the PCB. Make sure the notch aligns with the white screen print on the board. You will need to gently bend the legs in a bit, flip the board over, then begin to solder. Alright, that's done. Next, let's put in the capacitor. Let's solder in the capacitor. And let's clip off the excess. Then we'll put the other capacitor in, solder that. Next is the 10K resistor. It goes right here. Bend the legs. It goes in just like that. Now let's solder them and clip it. Next is the buzzer. It's polarized. You'll see a plus and minus on the buzzer. If you look on the back of the PCB, you'll see a circle with a plus on the inside. Line them up and put it in. And then solder. Alright, that looks good. Let's add some switches. They can go either way. And then solder. And the other switch. And solder again. Now let's add the LEDs. They are polarized, so look at them carefully and you'll see that one leg is longer than the other and that there's a flat edge on the LED itself. The shorter leg on the LED goes towards the flat side of the screen print. And let's solder those and clip the excess off of them. And repeat it three more times. Next, let's put the battery clips in. They can be kind of tricky. And let's solder those as well. Alright. Now let's do the other side, put the, put the other battery clips in, solder those, that looks good. Now we just need to add the buttons and the bezel. You may need to bend the battery clips out of the way. Then we add our screws and the screws tighten into the standoffs. Alright, let's repeat that three times over. And we're done. All right, all we need is power now. Let's add our batteries. And it works. Let's play a game. Just kidding. So after you finish this board, if you're like me, you probably get bored with it after maybe playing it 10 times. So if you look on the back, there's an RX, TX, and some pins that have been broken out, and you can reprogram it so you can use it to, say, open your garage or turn on a light or control a robot or really anything you want. So if you've hacked the Simon board into something else, show us what you've made and post it as a video response.